Good morning, good morning. I hate that my big head, my big hairdo hides that flag behind me, but it does. I have to say thank you to everybody. You see this shirt? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everybody who came out to the Apple Festival. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see that shirt? It says, welcome to Ella J. And there you go. Those apples were pretty fantastic this weekend. I hope every apple orchard, every farmer, every grower had a great, great weekend. I hope that everybody who came to LJ left with a positive idea and a positive attitude about this tiny town. This was the week for LJ to shine and shine and I believe it did. I was lucky enough to spend some time at the Apple Festival. And y'all are laughing because I said lucky enough. I was also lucky enough to have reserved parking so I didn't have to fight for a parking place like a lot of folks did. But we are so thankful to be able to bring you, this is what ETC TV does. Today, we can bring you what we recorded yesterday. And if you love Brett Cantrell, you will love today's program. You will love his music. This young man, you know, he was born and bred here in Gilmer County. He is of the first family of bluegrass music, and on this weekend was the death date of his precious granddaddy, who has been gone for two years, and his precious grandmother gone three years. This is born and bred Gilmer County talent at its best, so you're going to get to hear a lot of Brett Cantrell's music, you're going to get to hear a lot of Dwight Sanford's music, and I think you're going to like the program. Today, I don't have anybody with me because I think... I'm, I'm not contagious contagious or the guys in the studio would have what I have. I have bronchitis and it's just absolutely, I finally went to talk to him today and I have another appointment next Monday at 8.40 in the morning and hopefully I can start breathing better. This has been a crazy, crazy time. I just, I'm allergic to everything known to man and when things start socking it to you, they've been socking it to me and it's been pretty tough. So. So today, rather than sneeze on anybody, I'm not gonna have anybody with me, but I'm, I'm feeling fine. I'm not, I hope I'm not gonna give anything to anybody, but it's just bronchitis, so. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna be talking about Pickens County softball. Y'all won't believe this. As a kid, I played basketball and I played softball. You're looking at little short, dumpy me now and saying, you did what? Yeah, I did. But that's what it's about. And what's that shot coming from? Where did that come from? That one's gotta go. I hate that shot. Throw that in the garbage. <laughs> Throw that one in the trash. <laughs> Don't do that one. I'll get a gun to that camera. <laughs> so, but we are, you know, today we're going to be talking about Gilmer County. We're going to be talking about what matters in the world today. And what matters in the world today is that each and every one of us understand that we are free. You see that flag behind me? We are free, and I see on the picture, and Erin, I'm going to ask you to do something for me that is really totally crazy. I want you to walk behind me and hand me the picture. Because of the glare, we can't see the picture, and I'm going to share it with you. Today in America, we are free to voice our opinion, to vote the, the candidate of our choice, to do everything we want to do. There you go. The glare came off of it when we moved it. But this man went to war on D-Day. He went to war on D-Day because he wanted to save America. That's what we all have the ability to do. We have the ability to save our country from any kind of, um, you know, we, we know that we were invaded on 9-11. All weekend long, I listened to Alan Jackson's song, Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning? And I'll tell you where George Amon Sanford was. He was, um, he had already gone on to be with the Lord but he gave of himself as so many soldiers did. We would love to interview some of you old timers and you old guys, you Vietnam vets, you, how many, how few World War II vets are even left in this world? 
what an honor to represent you. And, and when I see this flag behind me, I just had an idea the other day, and I said, do you mind bringing your dad's flag? And there are a lot of caskets who have been covered with American flags. You know why? Because those people loved our country. And as, um, as a conservative, everybody knows I'm a conservative, but I will tell y'all, I have some Democrat friends. And we all agree to not discuss and not disagree. We don't not speak because we don't feel the same way about certain things. And I was telling somebody a story this week. And a lot of you know this story. Um, the reason I'm here is because abortion was not legal. My father had set up an illegal abortion for me, for me. You think about it. What my life has been, how many years I've been able to do things, accomplish things, my life would have ended had my father had his way and the abortion happened. But my mother fought and my mother kept me. That is our right in America. You can decide, you can do, and when things change and you look at what is right for you, if you think about if you do support abortion, that's your right. If I don't support abortion, that's my right. I'm here because my mother did not support abortion. And I'm very, very thankful for that. When you look at Zanna Jordan, um, my granddaughter, you know, is facing a tough, tough trip. Zanna's dad passed away, um, and it was sudden, and it's one of those things. And she took on the amazing joy of having this child by herself and taking care of her. We all in America have the freedoms that we have to choose because somebody went to war, somebody fought for our rights. And today, as Americans, we have to fight for America. In whatever way you see fit, it's, it's your choice because America gives us choices. So each one of you, a lot of people wonder, why am I so conservative? Why am I this? Why am I that? There are so many reasons. And, and if I wrote it all down, you'd go, I kind of see things her way now. But honestly, it started with the fact that I'm alive today because my mother chose to not allow for my father who had set up an illegal abortion of me. So you think about that. You think about, you wouldn't know me. I wouldn't have made an impact on anybody. I wouldn't have made a difference in anybody's life. I wouldn't have existed had my mother agreed with my father's decision. So, so that's one of the reasons I'm super, super conservative. And I will be, I reckon, till the day I die. And you know, speaking of dying, we are not guaranteed tomorrow. Our office manager, Louise Brown, lost her daughter-in-law this weekend, suddenly. And we are not guaranteed tomorrow. So when we get to feeling all froggy and we got it made and we got this and we got that, no. None of us know. We don't know what the next moment is going to bring. And if you're sadly out in the traffic on 515 this morning going south, it looked like they had opened the gates, opened the gates in Blairsville and given everybody an RV or a trailer to pull behind them. It was crazy, crazy busy. We don't know when we get out on the road if we're going to make it home or not. So enjoy every single moment of today, right now. And that's something we saw happening this weekend. And thank you to everybody who came up, bought t-shirts, bought CDs, complimented the music. Brett was on top of his game. He was fantastic. Dwight was on top of his game. He was fantastic. We had a really, really good weekend. And to everybody who volunteered at the Apple Festival, Oh my gosh, y'all were amazing. It was just, it was cool, it was great. Everything was orchestrated well. We were lucky enough to get to set up on Saturday night instead of having to fight the crowd on Sunday, so that worked perfectly. And uh, to Melissa, who came and helped, um, Dwight had a couple of cousins who, who kind of filled in and helped a little bit too. And it was just, it was a fun, fun weekend. And I thank everybody for coming out and supporting Gilmer County because every dime raised at the Apple Festival stays right here in Gilmer County to help the hurting and to help the needy, and that's what it's about. So, so when you get angry about the traffic, just think about in the long run, you don't know what you're going to be facing tomorrow. You may need help with a power bill. You may need help with some kind of situation that these, these dollars raised will help your family. So, so don't forget that when we're fighting and arguing about the traffic. 
Okay, guys, we're going to share some really cool music with you today, but I want to tell you about an event that's going to happen on November the 12th in Canton, Georgia. This is the number one. They are the best bluegrass ever. The Isaacs are going to be performing for the White Christmas event. Bob and Linda Reese have done this for over 36 years. They are raising money to buy Christmas for over 700 kids in Cherokee County. I hope you will be a part of this event. I hope you will come out and support this, this great, great, great day. It is going to have the Isaacs. It's going to have Linda Autry on piano. And everybody says, oh, she's great. She's great. She's greater. She is so good. Glory Bound's going to be there. John Bowman's going to be there. It's going to be an amazing, amazing day. And it's November 13th. Or Bob kept saying it was the 12th. So I'm really confused now. I know. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering. Okay. So, so we'll check. We'll check and make sure. But... Mm-hmm. Canton First Baptist Church is right up on the hill. I remember the first time I went there, it was dark, and I thought I'd never find it. But this time, it's during daylight hours, and you can find it. It's up kind of behind Home Depot, Riverstone, up that way, so it's easy to find, and you can Google it. And again, get there early, <clears throat> because even though it holds 600 people, I bet you it will be busy and packed because the entertainment is going to be, it is number one bluegrass, the Isaacs are going to be there. And this is a love offering, and every dime raised goes to buy Christmas for Cherokee County children who would not have Christmas had Bob and Linda Reese not done what they do. Now, let's talk about somebody who does what they do. This weekend and last weekend, um, Dwight got paid to do the Apple Festival. Okay. Every penny he makes doing those events, any kind of music, he does those events. He donates to the Shriners Children's Hospital or he donates to the Gilmer County Special Friends. He doesn't do this to make money. He does this to make a difference in lives. And I think that is one of the really coolest things about him is he's doing what he loves and he does love entertaining, he loves singing, he loves pr producing, but he really loves giving back. And so to see him turn around and take the money he made and give it to somebody else. That's what it's all about. So if you're in this world today and you're not making a difference, look back and think, what can I do to make a difference in somebody's life? Look at Bob and Linda Reese. Let them be an example. So many people are doing for others, and it does change the way your life feels. <clears throat> Saturday. I was shipping something to somebody, and I love her so much, and, and her son was killed about the same time my daughter died, and just, we have a lot of things. We don't like the common denominators we have, but we have them. And I was sitting in the post office parking lot, and all of a sudden, tears just started pouring down my cheeks, and I was just crying and crying and crying, and I thought, oh my gosh. I was thinking about my sister. Y'all can make a difference in her life today. She is facing the hardest decision ever. Does she go with a whole bunch of chemo that's going to take her down to nothing and fight for her life, or does she accept God's will? And so today, my sister Lila is like so precious, so precious. She's the good girl. She's the good one. She's the amazing one. Would you please ask the Lord to decide and help her? What is she going to do next? because she has to make this decision quickly. The cancer is spreading. It is crazy. It is mean. It is evil. And um, you just wonder why those good people end up with bad things. But I was sitting in the post office, and I just started bawling, and I thought, oh, my gosh, get it together, get it together. Then I was thinking about somebody who died very, very young in life, and I was thinking, why does God take the good ones and leave the evil ones? Maybe God leaves the evil ones hoping they'll turn their life around. I don't know. I don't know, but I just, I look at my sister. She's amazing, y'all. She's so sweet. She's so kind. She's so good. And um, I want her to make it through whatever she's going to be facing. And I want it to be, and she said, I'm ready to be with Jesus. I'm okay. But my precious brother-in-law, Charles, they need to be together, you know, as long as possible. And I, I love them both so much. So please add Lila Paget to your prayer list. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to get it together with music. You're going to get to hear what you didn't fight the traffic to hear yesterday. You're going to get to hear a mini Brett Cantrell concert. You're going to get to hear a mini Dwight Sanford, Mr. Ella J concert. 
and you're going to get to see what it's like to be in Gilmer County and be able to get it out to television, get it out to all of you the very next day. This is going to be super cool to share this with y'all. I loved both, both their music and both the things they did. And I love that they complement each other because they both do different things, but they also do things that are kind of alike. And it was really, really cool. And you know the Chansey family, you know the history of the bluegrass music that came out of these mountains. And Brett Cantrell was here on stage at ETC from the time he was a kid. One of the first things I did with ETC was to write a check for $500 to promote a bluegrass festival that was down at the uh, Lions Pavilion. And Brett Cantrell's granddaddy and the family was part of that event. And I'll never forget it. I said, well, I'll do it in honor of my husband who had just passed away. And that's what I did. So that's what we can do in this community. We can reach out, we can help each other, and we can bring good things to live TV. So we'll be back in just a minute with some great music. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. time of year that we open open the highways to North Georgia and people come in by the thousands, by the thousands and thousands and thousands. The leaves are begin, beginning to turn. It is absolutely beautiful and we say the leaves are falling and, and the mountains are calling. They are calling and when we look back at these mountains, I look back at the people who've made a difference in the mountains and the Chansey family of course is one of those. They stepped up to the Heart Fund for many, many years and were there. Dwight Sanford was on the stage with them many, many times and, and there, you know, everybody was getting involved with the Heart Fund and raised a lot of money. That's what these communities do. They come out together and they do well for others. And that is something that I hope we never lose. I hope as we grow and as newcomers come in, they join in and they also help. You can look at Fogus and see that Fogus is one of those 
you know, there are people from everywhere who now live here and they're making a difference with the Gilmer Animal Shelter. That's what happens when good people come to a good town and they join together. It doesn't matter if we're Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever we are, it doesn't matter if you're from New York or if you're from uh, New Jersey or if you're from Kentucky. It doesn't matter. We come together and we help each other. And that's something we saw at the Apple Festival. So many people, you can talk to them and understand they're volunteering at the Apple Festival, but they don't sound like me. They don't sound like a country hillbilly. They don't sound like they're from the South. They sound like they came here from somewhere else. That's what is so amazing about seeing an event like the Apple Festival pull, pulled off. It is pulled off because a whole lot of people came together. So we're going to show you. This, this is somebody who made me understand coming together. This is my beautiful daughter, Angela. And Angela always would tell me, she'd say, Mom, you can do that. You can do that. Let's do this. Let's go to do this. Let's volunteer for this. We opened her doors to her home and invited 400 people over every weekend to share the Christmas spirit. That's what you can do. You can, you can invite somebody in, a newcomer who just came to town, invite them to one of your club meetings, invite them to one of your organizations, and let them know, welcome to LJ. The doors are open, open to opportunity, open to a new business, open to a new creative idea, and, and that's what we are about. We are a southern tiny city. We are a southern tiny metropolis when you go from ball ground to turtle town. There are so many new people in the area who are making a difference and we did see that at the Apple Festival. We're going to share now some of the music. Remember, this was just recorded yesterday. It was done on my iPad. It wasn't done with our professional cameras, but it did a pretty, pretty good job. So sit back and enjoy a mini Mr. Ella J concert and a Brett Cantrell concert. My name is Dwight Sanford, some call me Mr. Ella J. I'm not sure how that all got started, but I'll take it because I've been called much worse.
There's one. Thank you. Anybody thinking about getting married? Anybody wishing you'd never done it? <laughs> She's just kidding. <laughs> That's just funny. <clears throat> well, here's a little song. It's all about loving someone. How it all comes together. Paul and Mary? Well, this is Paul. Paul Stuckey. He is now to be among you at the calling of your heart. Rest assured this troubadour is acting on his part. The union of your caused him to remain whenever two or more of you have gathered in his name there is love there is love well a man 
must leave his mother and a woman leave her home. They will travel on to where the two shall be as one. As it was in the beginning, it's now until the end. Woman draws her life from man and gives it back again. There is being able to share what happened yesterday with you today. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I love technology, although I am not a technical, not even a smart person, much less a genius. But I am blessed with a crew that can figure out anything I need done. That is so pretty awesome, amazing. And I'm sitting here thinking about this photo that's sitting beside me. And this is George Amon Sanford, who went to war, D-Day, he fought for the, the world, the world, and, and for America. And, and to think that his son is now, quote, Mr. Ella J, who is standing on stage singing original music about this world, this country, this America that we love, that is pretty flippin' cool. So um, we love that everybody came out this weekend. We love that you celebrated Ella J. It was a joy to get to talk to different people and you know, how long have you been coming? Why did you come? What do you think about Ella J? Everybody loves it. And the really cool thing about Ella J is anytime you come to town, there is a whole bunch of people milling around here, milling around there. They are shopping, they are spending, they are eating and they are supporting these local businesses. But I wanna remind y'all, when tourist season ends and those cold, miserable winter days come in, you locals need to support all of these small businesses. We need to keep the work up. So we're gonna go now to a mini Brett Cantrell concert. I'm excited. I had not seen this kid sing in a while and I'm telling you, he nailed it, he aced it, but he has a goal now. He's going to learn Smoky Mountain Memories because Sherry requested it. Here we go, Brett Cantrell. This old highway's getting longer. Seems there ain't no end in sight. Sleep would be best, and I just can't afford to rest. I got around Denver all night. What's kept a woman holding on this long? And the white line's getting longer, and the saddle's getting cold, and I'm much too young to feel this damn old. All the cards are on the table, and the place left in the hole, and I'm much too
emotions getting younger Tough and wrong She know I can't recall Or down team to Chris the dude Lonely women and bad boots Seem to be the only friends I've left at all And the white line's getting longer And the saddle's getting cold And I'm much too young to feel this damn old All the cards are on the table No haste left in the hole And I'm much too young to feel Thank you all very much. Appreciate that. I bet you never heard old Marshall Evans say, Miss Skitty, have you ever thought of running away? Settling down, would you marry me? If I ask you twice and beg you pretty please. She just said yes in a New York minute and never tied a knot. Should have been a cowboy. Shouldn't learn a rope and ride. I'd be wearing my six shooter, riding my pony on a camel drive, stealing a young girl's heart, just like Gene and Roy, singing them campfire songs. Oh, I should have been a Had a sidekick with a funny name Running wild through the hills Chasing Jesse James Ending up on the brink of danger Riding shotguns for the Texas Rangers Go west, young man Haven't you been told California's full of whiskey Women and girls sleeping out all night Beneath the desert stars Dreaming my eyes Like Gene and Roy singing them campfire songs. Oh, I should have been a cowboy. Should have been a Take it easy. 
County man back here. My name is Brett Cantrell. That's what we say in L.A.J., right? right? Cantrell. Cantrell in other parts of the world, but Cantrell here in L.A.J. From right here in L.A.J., Georgia, appreciate y'all hanging out. This is my very first time ever at the Georgia Apple Festival, if I'm being honest. I usually kind of stay out of town. But anyway, appreciate all y'all being here. Awesome to see this great crowd. And uh, if y'all enjoy something you hear, folks, I do have a tip bucket up here. If you don't have uh, any cash tips, I have Venmo. It's Brett with two T's, Cantrell, the number five. And even better than that, folks, anywhere in the state of Georgia, come by my office tomorrow morning. I'll see some home, auto, life, or commercial insurance at Brett Cantrell Country Financial, located at 142 Sand Street in beautiful downtown L.J., Georgia. All right, there's your commercial for this half hour. So I grew up here in Gilmer County, actually on this stage a lot of times at the, at the county fair and they had a bluegrass festival in here and stuff like that, but uh, playing with my grandpa. And so uh, we played bluegrass, like I said, so I'm going to sing a song in memory of him because he just passed away two years ago yesterday and then a song that he used to sing on this stage back to back right here wish girls you love never came back diamond rings oh wish ever pulled on chest swing Can't still learn to say, sir and ma'am, how to shake a hand. But Shiver stayed, had a bourbon hand. I wish everybody knew all the words to Mama tried. And I wish Monday mornings felt just like Friday night. And I wish even cars had trumpets. Every I wish grandpa's never died. I wish Sundays on the creek bank would never end. Wish I could learn to drive again. Wish 
It's the first time 17, she was my everything. Kissing a Chevrolet, it happened every day. I wish everybody overseas was gonna make it home. I wish country music still got played on country radio. Now we seen the cars hang. High school home teams never lost. Back row drinking kids never got caught. I was surprised the gas was low. Cotton was high. I wish all the talks didn't have no closing time. And I wish grandpa's never died. Never got sold. And I was seeing cars and truck beds. Everyone's name, Copperhead. The cooters never run out of cold bush line. And I wish high school home teams never lost. Back row drinking kids never got caught. I wish the price of gas was low. Cotton was high. I wish all the I wish grandpa's never died. I wish grandpa's never died. Thank you very much. No, that's a Riley Green song. I wish I had. Speaking of grandpas, this is a song that my grandpa probably sung on this stage 20 times, give or take. It's an old bluegrass song for you. Hope you enjoy this what I grew up playing right here. Now come and listen to my story. Story that I know is true about a road at Blooms in Georgia with the hair of gold. Carefree love she had planned that baby now. She is a lady, but her mother couldn't stand. Way down in the Blue Ridge Mountains, way down where the tall pines grow, there's my sweet heart of the mountains. She's my little Georgia Rose. Song together, watched her do her little part. She smiled at me. I would tell her that she was. Feel weird playing that without the whole bluegrass band up here, but it's just me, it's all you get today, folks.
I'm going to do this one for you, Dwight. I think you'll like this one. mini concert and and the guy said you could see I was really getting into the music Brett Cantrell is fantastic and I love it he really is that cooler younger generation that is bringing on some really great music and it came right out of these mountains with his granddaddy leading the force bluegrass music local music local musicians we are so blessed here at ETC to have these amazing guys who do what they do and they share it with you and they come out, they volunteer, they, they, you know, it was just great. It was a fun, fun day and thank you everybody who came out for the Apple Festival. Once again, every dime that was raised here was raised for this community. All the money raised here stays in this community and benefits one of your friends, one of your neighbors and you know, you don't know today that you may be that person who needs this help. Again, support our local businesses. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're going to be talking Pickens County softball. Now, there's something happening in the softball world of Pickens County that is pretty cool. They're doing a great job. And did y'all notice I have not mentioned that Pickens beat Gilmer this weekend? Oops! Well, as a Pickens County resident for over 48 years, I just have to say that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. It was a great game, very, very close, and that's what counts, except close doesn't really matter except horseshoes and hand grenades, so it was a great game, and, and congratulations to everybody. Gilmer's doing great, Pickens is doing good, and, and that's what it's about. Let's support all the communities that we serve, truly from ball ground to turtle town, and I'm going to ask y'all, get out this weekend and do yourself a favor and do the back roads. When I went home from Gilmer County yesterday, I went the back roads. I went Old Highway 5. 
no traffic, everything was wonderful. I was getting reports off 515 that they said it was backed up at every red light, just miles and miles, uh-uh, I didn't have that problem. So get out today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, while it's gonna be really pretty and the leaves are beautiful and enjoy these back roads. I would start in Fannin County over on Aska Road at that beautiful bridge and then come south, find somewhere good to have a meal and then find somewhere to ford a creek. That is my challenge to you. Drive something that you don't care about going through a creek. Honey, I used to go through a creek in a Mercedes, in a Lincoln, in a whatever. I didn't care. I would ford a creek. So get out and do that and just enjoy these beautiful mountains because the mountains are truly our greatest asset. But you know what our next greatest asset is? The people that fill these mountains. So again, a big shout out, a big thank you to everybody who participated in the Apple Festival, to all the vendors who came from many, many places and to all the volunteers, y'all did an amazing job. And to our musicians, you get an A plus. You get an A plus. This will all be loaded to YouTube, so if you get to share it with your friends and neighbors and they know Brett, they know Dwight, they know somebody that was on this event, just um, share it. It will be on YouTube, downloaded by tonight. And again, you can go to Sherry Martin, C-H-E-R-I-E-M-A-R-T-I-N on YouTube and subscribe. Um, I hope you will and I hope to see you again soon, tomorrow, only on ETC. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Ella J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta Where the Kusawati lay they come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to Ella J. Hey, Ella J, a mighty fine place to be. Middle of 